All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Oceanoco, Oceanoco Season 2, Episode 7. seven. The play right. continues. Mm -hmm. Melt, you are fantastic. Fantastic. You're awesome. Go! Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, so and no one will. You. So proud of you. Yeah. And that was that was hard. You you put mm -hmm. your heart into it. You kind of went a little bit off script, not like fully, but you kind of played within the space that you were given. Yep. Um, and yeah, you might not be like remembered completely and totally depending on what happens later in the play. Mm -hmm. But at this moment, you made a dramatic impact. Yep. Not just the super fans that are all here, but specifically in the mangaka's eyes as mm -hmm. well. And that's the kind of stuff that they were banking on with this script. Right. The idea that the actors and actresses would have to, in some ways, carry and elevate the content mm -hmm. itself yep. to something more than what was actually on the page. And, and you did that. You did that. You, Way to go. You did that. But now Aqua. I mean, uh, now it's just the rest of the play. Yeah, the next Who knows? The, the play, play. could be uh, That's true. multiple more episodes. We yep. are wrong yep. about the play not being one episode. Hey, that so is a great point. Let's take that as much point. time as possible. Sure. If we're going to have this kind of animated production values. Oh, yeah. I won't I mean, complain. I mean, oh, <laughs> take yeah. as long as you want. Like, mm -hmm. This is really good. Um, but yeah, Aqua. Um, we've got also Akane's stuff yep. as well. Mm -hmm. we got Akane's stuff. Um, we're eating good. We're eating good, and then also they're actually just doing the fights as well. Like, yep. Like, and and then of course because it's you know an anime, we're getting oh no, yeah, them animated. No, as right, well. it's, so, it's like, the best of both worlds. Like, we right, get, yeah, we, we yeah. get to triple dip basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's so awesome. But all right, y'all. Without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, repeating cool. that line that was cut into. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Here he is. Ah, and her nice. entrance has to be glorious. Ooh. Oh, shit. So this has to stand out. She has mm -hmm. to take this and own the scene. Yep. The color change, the drawing of the sword. Yep. Damn, there it is. Cool. Nice. That's fun. Right. Yep. Keeps things nice and trim. Yep, yep. これは敵の対象を打つ <laughs> 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 Here we go. Their fight will come about in their, in right. their thoughts and their hearts, yeah. But Saya dies, so... Right, but in terms of acting... Right. Here we go. Flashback. All right, yeah, let's see it. Oh, just holding back tears, yeah. What happened? I think this is her acting, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey! La la la. Oh, Ajisai, okay. Mm. Mm. That's what, that's yeah. the whole motivation right there. 
Okay. Dang. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's hard at first. Yeah, yeah, you're getting into a new thing. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. Oh. And she kept that haircut all the way in. Oh, oh, yep. shoot. Yeah. Oh, and she says it too. Oh, it says I'm a fan too. Oh no. Right, and that's the only reason they're using you. Yeah. 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 Uh, and this is such a it's such a oh, sore spot shit. for Kana yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who even cares about the acting? Oh. And now she lays into her. Okay. Yep. Oh. Crushed. Damn, so well animated too, mm -hmm. but. Hmm. Oh. Yep, and that continued. Yep. あ、じゃあ、あの、kinds of things, yeah. Nice. Oh my god, that harsh Holy cut. Shit. Whoa. Take what you want. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. The star, yeah. Aye. Yeah. Okay. There's the there's right. the eye stars, yeah. yeah. The eye eye stars, yeah. 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 Dang, doing these in time. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that is so cool. That's awesome. That's greedy because oh, yeah. you don't know who to pay attention to. Yep. Yeah. There's only one people are looking at. Right. Where's the cables? Wow. Well, it's part of the immersion, right? The audience can't see them. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And now... Light them all up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. And with the old, yeah. There we go. Uh -huh, there we go. Yeah. She had the old hairstyle now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my heart. All right. Come with me. Come yeah. with me, Kana. Whoa. Oh, 
Wow. What she learned to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she wanted okay. to reach you with this. Yeah. Here. Yeah. I wanted our sparks to light up mm -hmm. the night sky together. Fuck. Nice. Oh, oh that was cool. それでいい。あいつは自分を分かってない。有馬は私を見ろって顔してる時が一番輝いてるの。私が勝ちたいのはそういうかなちゃんじゃない。本気のかなちゃんに勝ちたいの。うん、good. Yeah. All right. Cool. Do it together. Yeah. I love it. The star is back. There it is. Cool. Good stuff. Great episode. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Uh, y'all, this set of episodes, if we is, keep this going, is damn good. With the play, this. This has gone so far beyond anything we've gotten in season one. Mm -hmm. Like, like season one dealt with some really powerful themes and oh, had yeah. some really good moments. I mean, season the, one was great. Season one was great. But this is this is mm -hmm. this is this is masterful because on the one hand we get the joy mm -hmm. of just consistently seeing the play anime overlap right. kind of allowing yep. us to double dip on our own enjoyment of it, right. but then the story effectively being a triple dip on all the little things going on here as far mm -hmm. as presentation. Yep. So all in all, just very, very fun episode to watch. But yes. then having the flashback be something that isn't there just to give us the exposition and the no the, the perspective on that event mm -hmm. of the past. Yep. But also to inform both of their perspectives on not just why they act the way they act. Mm-hmm. But why they can't stand the way the other person decides to act right, right here and now. Yep. So it, it, the whole episode just spins around that in such a mm -hmm. wonderful way that there's so much to talk about. Oh, yeah. The, the idea that it's something where it's not that she was upset with Kana from the standpoint of, like, Kana being mean. No. It's the, you're not being the person that I believed in. Right. Right. And so, and that's why I'm upset. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's also, you did things that were very hurtful to me, Yeah, but you, that's, you, but you, that's you, the, yeah. that's the surface level hurt. Right. Right. If that was what the hurt was, she probably wouldn't, it probably wouldn't be affecting her strongly to this day. She might think like, Khan is a bit of an asshole. Right. right? And it probably, and, that'd be it. and it probably also wouldn't have then been used as fuel to have her continue acting. Right. It might've just been enough to be like, Oh, I won't act anymore. Right, but because it, the it, thing was fake, it didn't ever exist. It, or whatever. Right, but because it almost undermined it entirely, then she then took that as fuel right. to be like, "That's why no, I will act right. so I much." I believe in this, even if apparently no one else does. Right, and so I'll I'll take this as far as I can I can mm -hmm. go with it. Yeah, yeah. Which is funny because then what she's saying is something that is the style of acting that Kana uses right now to elevate another in the scene with her. Right. By effectively chameleoning herself into whatever is needed to fit the environment. Mm -hmm. Now, that's really cool because in a lot yep. of ways, um, the actors and actresses probably really enjoy that. That oh, probably yeah. Oh, yeah. feels really good. Yes, as far as like something that will, you know, make people talk about you in a positive light that mm -hmm. might make it easier for you to get jobs. Yeah. 100% that will help, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah, and I, it I love, certainly won't hurt. Yeah, and I love the way that um we showed um the the guy who was uh, acting alongside Kana mm -hmm. who ended up bullying uh Melt. Right. Um he ended up really like, oh, oh this, this is, is fantastic. This is so oh, much fun. I, I have not acted yeah. alongside somebody like this ever before mm -hmm. that made me just enjoy this so right. much. Right, like the way that she was able to cover for something that messed up his line right right in a way that felt natural like that's like yeah th there you go right and she didn't steal his moment by 
improving that specifically nope. there. She in some ways just kind of course corrected a production mistake right. that then made his previous line more valuable. Right, made sure it landed. Made you know, sure because it landed. even if they're like, wait, what did he say? Oh, that's what it was. You know, gotcha. right. Like, so then people's minds don't even think about it. Yeah, exactly. Five seconds, ten seconds later. Right. Yeah. Yep. It's the kind of invisible, what I would call like um support netting where you're basically like, hold, let me extend out over here. Right. Cut it's, that and then just bring it back in. There's there's something where I feel like it's easy to um, when you don't know how to do something very well, mm. it's easy to think that the competence that is shown by the professionals mm. is the ability to say, like in this case, do what's given on the script, right? right? And do that really well. Mm -hmm. And yes, that's part of it. But it's also the, oh, hey, we know that you're good enough so that if some hiccup comes along, mm -hmm. you'll take care of it, right? Yeah. Like that's that's where it's the, oh, no, the ability to have fully so fully like digested and mm. integrated the the lessons of acting and the skill mm. of acting so that now you can improvise right right in, and that, in in the way that helps the overall yeah and, production and i like this because there's a there's a word that um, aqua uses to describe this exasperating uh, mm -hmm. later in the episode the idea that kana is so mentally aware of the production and this play needing to be done well so that Nothing that she does negatively brings her reputation down in some ways. Sure. She wants to light up the environment specifically. Mm -hmm. But by doing so, she ended up trying to basically become the star that would then light up the environment, which is not what Akane wants to see from her. She wants to see basically the... Not just being a stage light and going like, whoa, look, conal effect, massive. Isn't all this just, awesome? Look, isn't this cool? I want you to be full three-dimensional, right. you know, every degree, every angle shining out in a way that basically if someone was to look at you here, all the lights back there, they couldn't see them because that light is so damn right. brilliant yeah. that it's, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't allow them to even which shine. Which makes total sense because... Um, I feel like if you're going to be an actor, there's a certain amount of ego that kind of inherently comes with that job. Yeah, just you know? the idea of channeling ego, channeling yeah. another ego, something right. that's not yours. Yeah. yeah, and to know that like you can you can perform and truly sway the hearts of the people that watch you. Right, right. right. Like that's, yeah, that's a big deal, mm -hmm. you know? Because you're going to have those moments where you will monologue, you will right. act alone, you and will have the entire audience perspective right. on you, and if you can only do the thing where you mimic or you adapt mm -hmm. or you shine the environment, people will kind of go, oh, there's, oh, I thought there'd be more here. Okay, yeah. all right, and well, it's fine, it's fine. You and know? especially in a situation where you have a theater actor versus mm -hmm. a uh, television actor. Yes, absolutely. Because... Like the thing that you always hear when you talk about like people that are doing like theater mm -hmm. is that you actually get the feedback from the audience. Yes. The audience are a part of it. You can tell the energy. You can tell that something worked. Right. Whereas it's, with a it's camera, live. It's, yeah, yeah. It, right. Whereas with a camera, it's the, okay, did the director like it? Did the other actors work mm -hmm. well with it? Did people respond well to the finished product after the whole thing? Right. Said Am I done? helping move the production along in a mm -hmm. way that from the background behind the scenes perspective makes other people go, okay, that was great. Move along. Let's go to the next thing. Yeah. No, no, like, you know, reception with the audience or what have you, other than maybe the thing of like, oh, good stuff, Kana, loved that, cut, take it to the next thing, yeah. you know, send that to the editing right. room or what have but you. But over the course of, say, a, you know, a two-hour, three-hour play or something like that, mm -hmm. where it's the, okay, no, as we do things, we can we can hear the guests Ham it of up. the audience, yeah, yeah. you know, and all Lean that Lean more stuff. into this, all right, everybody, right. we can tell that they're really liking the way that so-and-so's characters, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. and so it makes sense that she would want that from Kana because mm -hmm. it's the, no, I want to do battle with you. I right. want to beat you at your best where yeah. you are, you're not, you're not, giving me the win because mm -hmm. damn it yes that is the we are in a team right now mm -hmm. and we are putting on a performance where we're all collaborating but i'm i'm and she realizes it after yes i'm being selfish right now mm -hmm. i'm not thinking about the performance i'm thinking about me mm -hmm. and i want to do the best acting right. right yeah i love that the hero worship to fan meeting mm -hmm. moment leads kind of like a few perspectives 
kind of open with this. Yeah. Of the thing of, oh, because this is their acting philosophy, we then have that overlaid in our minds above the moment of them actually meeting. Right. And we can see the way that this moment didn't necessarily change or shape Kana's, like it was a Tuesday no. for her. Yeah. But for uh, Akane, we can definitely see how it resolves some aspects of her. But yes. the guy says the thing of like over, you know, just, oh, hey, Kana, this is all just a, yeah. you know, this is all just a formality. Now, context, Akane is here to audition. That's why she's right. there. Yeah. So effectively, what both of them come away with is the same thing. Your acting doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. That's so cool in that they could have connected on that. Yes. But instead, because one of them is coming from the perspective of, yeah, my acting doesn't fucking matter because none of it matters once you get past a certain point in my and, world. And also, um, uh, right, and I'm currently suffering as a result of the yes. fact that my acting doesn't matter because I haven't been a team player. Mm -hmm. And so... I'm not getting these. I'm, I'm not getting many jobs, and the only ones I am getting is because they want the name recognition. So it really isn't right. about the action, and that will fade away with time. So sure. I know that I am doomed. I'm as dying. A career. I'm, I'm seven years old, and I'm you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all, already past my prime. Right. I'm know? already feeling like I'm you know in my midlife crisis right now. Right. Right. Exactly. Imagine how absolutely horrifically oh, yeah. stressful that is. When you're, you know, mm -hmm. a child trying and, to do a career. Like, and I, I thank you, show. Yeah. I, I feel like it, um, uh, with how well it was established, it wasn't, it wasn't something that I would really have been expecting them to do. Mm -hmm. I feel like it mm -hmm. wasn't that big of a bar to pass, but I'm still really glad that they didn't know. I want to point it out. They didn't give us any kind of perspective on this. No. We know what the situation is with Kana. We can infer that how, with how she's responding and the little bits of body language that we see, Ah, we know exactly where in Kana's career this is. Right, we, right? we've had her story given to us through season right. one. But yeah. this is this is not in the highlight of no. her career, no. right? This is this is as she's going out, you know, yeah. right? Like, and so yeah, we know we know exactly why she's, why she's responding she's... like this. Yeah, the no, I need work. That's that's how this is. That's great that you care about the acting and stuff, but like, if you're not getting work, what's the point? Right, you know. And so then, yeah, of course, Akana doesn't yeah, the, like that. Yeah, the people in play here are probably just wanting to keep their finger on the pulse and have a little bit of a formality thing. But if they see people that they're like, oh, I, you had a good audition for this thing here. Yeah, well, at the very least, we wrote your name down and we'll know who you are, maybe a little bit sure. more. So, you know, yeah. there's there's some good perspective to be gained from this. Akana, uh, uh, sorry, Akana's whole thing of this all, you know, audition thing doesn't matter. Yes, in the context of this production, absolutely. Right. But there was another perspective that could be had of, hey, Akane, you're getting an audition. Like, that's still something. Like, that's other people that might never have seen you act before right. ever this are is a, going to see you act. This, and even if they, in this thing, don't care about the acting, it right. doesn't mean every single job that's ever happened ever means that they don't care about the acting. Right. It, you know, it might... Uh, trying to educate a six-year-old on networking opportunities right. might not necessarily be great. No, 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 but, totally, but I don't, I don't care about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about it from the perspective of the actual omniscient look at it where you get to go, oh, there's actually something to be gained here. Mm -hmm. But because the episode so wonderfully leaned into the Kana and her acting doesn't matter here because the way the guy set up everything right. to completely fail here, yep. then led Akane into this really, really relatable perspective of two things, I feel like. There probably is more, but let mm -hmm. me know. Yeah, I yeah. feel like she's, one, trying to understand why her image of Akana in her head doesn't match, uh, sorry, Akana in her head doesn't match mm -hmm. up with reality. Mm -hmm. But then two, she's actually trying to encourage her. Yeah. Like, oh, in absolutely. A very, like that's definitely the secondary well, yeah, part of it. But it's, in encourage. Encourage any kind of challenging aspect. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, Where exactly. It's the, no, I believe that you're better than But in than the that. fan way as well. No, like, sure, yeah. yeah. No, 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 right. But right. it's the, it's the um, you're not meeting my expectations, mm -hmm. right? And I believe that you can, so what the hell? Like, right. you know. And, and, and when I say by, by the fan way, meaning that she can't view Kana in a negative light here. She's doing this in the way that's not challenging like the, you're doing something dumb here. It's like the, no, you, right. you Her clearly you're just, right. like, this is this is something that's just wrong here. That guy's, you know, wrong, right? Yeah. Like, you Say you it ain't care. so, like, Joe. Say it ain't so, Joe, exactly, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. right. And that has the innocence of, 
I don't see you as making a mistake right now. I couldn't. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's once then she, it's like, Right, you know, she asks for the confirmation and she slaps the hat on. Right, yeah. right. And that's the moment where she then has to sit back and reel from it. Right. And um, I feel like that is so relatable um, in the world of meeting your heroes when the cameras are off, basically. Yeah. I've had multiple moments where I've gone to like conventions or what have you. Sure. And you meet your heroes and they're on. Right. They're on. And yeah. this is important to acknowledge here. There are cameras. There are people mm -hmm. that could clip yeah. this and send it to the internet or what have you. Yep. I kid you not, I kid you not, if you can meet your hero when the cameras are off, it's an amazing thing because when they when they know that there's no like, you know, yeah. whatever, this anything here, and you see just this genuine, like incredible person just it's awesome. It's so amazing. Like, mm -hmm. I've had equal amazing moments like that and equal, like, ho ho like just yeah. bad moments like that. And the good moments just blow my mind because I'm like, I actually, like, didn't expect this. I just expected right. a person that was going to be like, yeah, I got successful doing this stuff here and I'm... Yeah, thank you for, for right, your right. kind words. That, yeah. that means a lot. Right, the more fan interaction rather than like a genuine interaction. Well, no, no, just saying like, oh, like, thank you. They're showing gratitude and they're mm -hmm. being kind, you know? Okay, it's, sure, yeah, it's yeah. nothing. It's nothing um, incredible. But I, yeah. I've had moments where people are like, oh my gosh, like I want to, like I want to show you like I want to like have you meet this person. They're like they're like oh, cool. they're like yeah, building yeah. a connection in the moment. Right. And I'm like, how are you doing that? You mm -hmm. probably just met a hundred people today. Right. Like you're not. I'm like looking around. Like we're like with like two are other, there cameras? Are yeah. you on right now? Right, right, right. Like, that, yeah. they, they don't feel like they're on. It just feels mm -hmm. like this is who they are. And then I have other moments where I'm like, oh, you're clearly off right now. Like, right. Oh, you, yeah. You just. You just were horrible to that person. Like, not to me, but I see you with another person. And sure. it's like, oh, Ooh. I don't want to be here right now. Yeah. And I I can't imagine, and in some ways because I was old enough to almost like shut up and stuff sure. like that, I feel so much more pain for Akane because she's younger. She keeps talking because she's right. so yeah. uh, hurt by this, mm -hmm. by this moment here. And but yet, it's 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 setting up the the, the pain to continue, well, right? And, and that's just, the that's the uh, other problem with the whole like the other the other half of the meeting your heroes thing. Oh, is yeah. That when yeah. someone's your hero, you can't actually connect with them, uh, right? Like like it's very hard to. It's almost impossible. It's almost yeah. impossible. Yeah, you kind of need to like. Uh, <laughs> I know where you're going. You need with this, to yeah. remove them from that position in yeah, your mind, right. In order to have the opportunity to actually connect with somebody, it's very similar to like the yeah. you know when it's you weird. have that first it's crush, weird. right? And oh, you're just like you idolize sure, the person, you know? It's sure. like oh, they're so incredible, but you would not actually be able to have a genuine connection with them because you're not act like you're you're right. keeping them on this Remove pedestal. infatuation, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's the whole thing of you know um, uh, when when our, our main character got to meet I. Right? Aqua, yeah. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, yeah. Right, yeah. but... but uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It was because... Goro, yeah. Yeah, yeah Goro. It yeah. was because, ah, yes, he definitely elevates her and all that stuff, but then it's the, okay, putting that aside, I need to be the doctor, mm -hmm. right? And so, okay, cool, able to actually make a connection, mm -hmm. right? That wouldn't work if he's thinking about her as the idol, right? He kind of needs to put that on the back burner for now, even though he's right. still freaking out inside because this is just the person, right? And yeah. that's the that's the kind of thing that you don't understand when you're a little kid, no. right? And because if if she had, right, like there was there I love how like and you mentioned this, it was the other guy that basically it was the guy that made this whole situation go badly because theoretically this could have been a point of connection, right? If if there was the the realization of like Hey. Or, or it would have been more clear that Kana was the villain in this case, actually. Like, uh, sure. Like the the she was the one that caused the problem, primarily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she did she did finish the conversation. Oh yeah. But it was screwed up from the beginning because we have to remember Kana's a child too. Exactly. And she put two and two together by the way that guy's commentary. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. exactly. So, you know, there there wasn't the opportunity for it's the hey, so here's a tip that'll probably help you out a lot. There's mm -hmm. a lot of shit that goes on that is beyond 
the acting. Yeah. You need to learn how to navigate that if you want to succeed in this business. Mm -hmm. You know, see ya. You know, right? Bye, yeah. Who knows, right? Right. But now they're here. Uh, Now they're here. And so I want to focus on the line of the kind of acting that devours everyone around you because Mm -hmm. this is the true difference between Kana's chameleon spotlight improv elevation of the other style acting. And I like that they use the word devour here because the show does as a visual way something really Mm -hmm. cool with the stars in the eyes. Yeah. Which is a callback to I. She was the one that had the Mm -hmm. most brilliant stars in her eyes. And everyone has those moments where their eyes sparkle or their eyes have like a different shape or what have you showing yep. that their star isn't fully formed but it's 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 coming there right. you know we need to see them in the moment of doing their passion their thing exactly. so that the star can come forth yep you know it's even shown in the manga's eyes yeah so you don't need to be an actor it's just a visual right. medium to describe yeah the, that the, the eyes being the window to the internals of the person mm-hmm. and when you are in the space of being a star right. it is shown mm-hmm. yeah right but i think that there's something that could be lost here Mm -hmm. or focused on in too much of a way. Okay. And that the idea that Akane's acting is antagonistic Mm. in some way. And I I wanna combat that before like it's like like even a a thing because I'm not thinking that you're gonna bring that up or what have you. I'm talking about just in terms of like the whatever the fandom discussion is surrounding this. Gotcha. That acting in a production at some point means that the focus is going to be on you. Right. And so when the focus is not on you, you are basically just doing your thing. Yes. But mm-hmm. but your job, your job basically is to shine effectively, yeah. to to be brilliant, to right. let your light go out to the point where people cannot look away. They have to focus on you. Mm-hmm. So the idea that in the play here they had the ambition to show all the fights happening at once, which feels yeah. almost that counterintuitive. Feels like, yeah, that idea. feels like the thing that either wouldn't happen in an actual play, or if it did, it, there'd be the conversation of, hey, you guys are going to be doing your fights. This is the fight that's important. And I you think know? that's a part of what happened with the rewrite, yeah. is that this scene wouldn't have been done this way sure. exactly because they would need to give everybody the opportunity to set it up. And so what probably happened was that they did the sets just a certain way, Mm -hmm. or they did the dialogue and what they would do, what they would cut and adjust here with the actual like writer, Uh not the the mangaka. Right, right, Um, go on. So yeah, so that this could end up still working really well. Right. But it would require what kind of acting Akane uses. Mm -hmm. Basically the, I need you to take those moments where we are only gonna give you this little sliver of time. Right, and you need to Shine bright for the for that time, yeah. Right, but you can't let anything or any one stuff potentially interrupt you. We can't sure. let any kind of you know sound effect clipping yep. into your voice. Right. We can't let any kind of uh, other acting that you're going to be playing off of here do right. anything more than just being a like no silence. Yeah. There's a reason I am here. Boom. Yeah. yeah there's I'm a just... yeah. There's a reason why the line that had the special effect clip into it was that line and not. Akane's introduction. Right. You know, like that, no, that's not gonna happen, right? Mm-hmm. They, would, they would be putting all kinds of effort into making sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. And and the, the I feel like this might be one of those, and I'm, I'm, uh, I would be curious to hear from any people that do like, you do know, acting. theater acting. Sure. Well, specifically theater acting. Oh, theater acting, yeah. Um, if the, the conflict that is happening here and the way the conflict resolves of Kana being like, I'm going to, you know, elevate you and everything while mm-hmm. Akane is the one that's shining brightly. Mm-hmm. Um, how much of that would be something that would be like uh, truly baked into the job of like, this is Akane's spotlight time. Mm-hmm. And it would be a problem if someone else decided to shine brightly. As, as a point of comparison, Kana shining brightly in that scene, maybe it could have worked because she's working opposite Akane and that's where the focus is. Right. But if Melt suddenly decided to give some crazy extra performance like he gave in his in mm-hmm. his moment, 
that would actually be a problem, right? right? That, that would be a pretty serious problem because yeah. then the audience might not know wh like where their eyes are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And especially if it's something where like, say, that had been the scene where Saya died right. and then someone just misses it because yeah. they're looking somewhere else, that'd be a huge issue, right? Huge issue, yeah. And, and so the, the, like, the degree to which Akane is like, no, I'm right, and yes, she is, but also, you know, she is the less experienced actor in the grand scheme of things and mm -hmm. so is there something that she's missing and that's the that's what she learned when she then went backstage and she's like shit yeah i was totally being greedy there and she thinks that's a bad problem like that's a problem for her but it's like no no no, no. that's what people were wanting you to do mm -hmm. that's but why they, you were casted as saya yeah exactly yeah. but they also need there to be the kanas that will then know when to all right you know, right. lift you up, and that's why it's not about whose acting is right or wrong here, because this is this is the this is the part mm -hmm. that I think is, is so cool, is that Akane doesn't want you to match the other people on stage here. You need to make them try to match you, right? Which is cyclical. We're we're dancing yeah, around the same anime rivalry. You know? we, we, no, 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 no. We're we're cyclical around the same thing here. You're saying that. Your acting should be so drowningly bright that you elevate them. And yet you're intentionally spending effort trying to elevate them without elevating yourself. So you're both seeking the same goal, which mm -hmm. is make the other actors mm -hmm. potentially try to or try to make the other actors look better. But it's whether they rise to the occasion or not. Right. But in a theater production, mm -hmm. it feels like the kind of thing that primarily works in theater, like like you were saying earlier. Like this is the kind of thing where actors would not try to do this as much in other types of productions here. So this is something that I think is a good philosophy, hmm. but you need to, like you were saying earlier also, see the way in which Kana's acting works for certain scenes. Like it works for those times there where you're going to monologue and they just happen to be there or there or you're starting to put your grand intro here but maybe in an actual clash in an actual like dynamic scene where there's repartee where the actual right. part is built around conflict then yeah compete for the space right it, you know uh, both then do it so then you kind of need both in a weird way maybe like, a weird tangential kind of reference uh-huh um the duel between Inigo and Wesley in Princess Bride. Yes. The characters themselves are very much both trying to one-up the other, right? The but, characters in the story, yes. Right. But, yeah. you know, you could also see a way in which maybe that could, like, go into the acting. I don't know. But I, I don't have know how Have you seen was... some of the behind-the-scenes interviews of that actual bit there? They were laughing hysterically. Oh, I through imagine. Through the whole thing. So yeah. it's the kind of thing I feel like where if there's comedy, mm -hmm. I actually feel like a Kane style of acting would be uh, like potentially horrible. It could go oh, into sure. cringe territory. Well, right, because she's uh, she brings so much gravitas. You don't right. necessarily want but that. But with comedy. conflict mm -hmm. uh, examples here, I feel like uh -huh. that's actually the ones where, depending on the direction of the story, uh -huh. it's wonderful. But if someone is meant to be the one that looks better, mm -hmm. they, they're the one that wins. You know? Yeah, yeah. Then you actually. Again, probably then shouldn't use well, right. Kane style either. Well, there. but and that's and that's but what only I'm for the purpose, of, you know, the one that's mm -hmm. winning there. You know, that's they should do it. And it's the whole thing of when Walter White is going to give a monologue. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, this is not meth. You know, right. like you know, someone else in there no, yeah. shouldn't. If overact Tuco to starts to overacting to try and steal the scene, that's a problem. Yeah. But when Tuco is like tight, 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 like like yeah, you yeah. Know, having his well, moment right. there because that's his moment. Yeah. And, yeah. and Walter should not be trying to overact about how scared he is. Right. The silence speaks volumes. Tuco's communicating that perfectly, <laughs> yes. right? And and in a from the from thinking about the production standpoint, mm -hmm. because I feel like I feel like Akane is actually wrong here. Right, oh. but it's but it's not that she's like fundamentally wrong. It's that it's the incomplete perspective, right? Well, that's what I'm saying too. Is that they're both right in that certain scenes actually do call for Akane's acting. No, no, right, no, no. But and they, uh, yeah, uh, let me finish. Okay, not Akane's wrong to be acting the way that she does, mm -hmm. but that she's wrong in that thinking that Kana should match that kind of acting here. Because oh, okay. when I think about the ways in which um, that 
sort of dissonance in the acting mm, could right. cause problems. Yes. In filmmaking, it'd be, there's a lot of production happening here, and so the time is valuable, even though we could, like, pick and choose what cuts we want. Maybe, oh, yeah, it's right? all done in the editing room anyway. Yeah. yeah. But when it comes to theater, this is one whole performance. You can't cut or change things, right? Like, nope. this is the experience that people will get, and especially if it's, like, you know, one of the early performances that's going to be what dictates the general public opinion of the play or something like that. Right. You got to nail that. Right. You, no. Kinda, if if kind of did your kind of way of doing things, mm -hmm. that could be a really big mistake. You know, like like that could that could actually be a, a serious problem. Mm -hmm. But ideally, you want a scene like this to be something where both characters grow, right? Mm -hmm. And so in this situation here, I think Akane is growing because she's learning the importance of what Kana's doing mm -hmm. because right. the thing of, ah, there are roles for the people that, you know, shine so bright. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But Kana experienced the, but maybe the number of roles that there are for mm -hmm. that are less than the just roles in general and you might end up getting less work. Oh, but yeah. then yeah. but then from Kana's standpoint and the, the way that she can learn is the, um, you know, don't, to, to not be, um, not be so, scared of th what happened in the past to avoid taking those risks when maybe an opportunity presents itself, mm -hmm. you know? And that's whether or not she will take that away from this, I'm not sure because oh, I think it was, it was, she was less of a focused character, you know, oh, right. for this but, but that's, episode. Right, but that's but, why they, that's why they ended the episode where they did with them saying, we're going to bring that out of right. her together. And that's what um, Aqua's best at actually is basically, mm being the instigator to have somebody then take the spotlight. Right. Which is fun because that's not exactly what Kana does, even though hers is similar. Mm -hmm. Kana's is more, I am thinking about all the people that went into making this play and right. how they're going to look at this when it's all done. It's basically a, a form of almost like professional paranoia. Sure. Of like, I am way too focused on all these other things that I'm not, uh, and because I'm talented, I can do that and still deliver a great scene, mm -hmm. but it's the kind of thing that probably misses out on the 2% extra, mm. you know, je ne sais quoi, you know, the, the, the extra, the extra sure. sauce, the extra something. Yeah. And thus, she's what you would call the uh, director's darling, as the one guy in the stage was kind of putting at it, mm -hmm. in that... Oh yeah, you can just fit anywhere. We'll we'll we'll, we'll grab we will you. Absolutely work with we you. We will absolutely work with you in the future because you are so reliable. Right. There's nothing that's going to yeah shock us or scare us about. And yet you. she's not going to be the audience's favorite. Correct. Right. Like intentionally so. Right. So from yeah. that perspective, she will lose the the star kind of side of things, uh, right. the battle between uh, Yeah, the, the the top end potential right. basically in and, the business. Yeah. And I love that that's kind of decided here before things potentially change in the next episode, which is that Akane won the yes. actual duel of the stars here. Uh -huh. And it was easy. Right. It wasn't even it a was, contest. It, um, it was a, uh, a, a Her yield. opponent forfeited. Yeah, her yeah. opponent forfeited. Yeah. Which is basically saying not... I'm not playing your way. It's saying I don't have even the the. the I'm not engaging in that competition. Well, I I, I don't even have the confidence mm. to step forth into that way because that reminds me of when I was a child and I sought that path. How right. quickly everything fell apart. Right, and because of a, a very real personal problem that I right. had that maybe she doesn't have anymore. But, because you know, maybe uh, also painful Kamachi. lessons are hard to overcome. Oh, well, right, right, right. But I was gonna say she also isn't doing this thing necessarily with the same chip on her shoulder because she gets to shine with B Kamachi. Yes, she gets to do the thing that made her want to act. Right, you know, shine, you know, you know, make the stars light up by making yeah, all yeah. the fans dance with the the glow sticks and, and everything. And let's be real, B Kamachi is absolutely the place where she's able to take the primary spotlight. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and yeah, even though in some ways she's probably not going to in the long run, sure. that's probably going to be more um, Ruby's mm -hmm. uh, Ruby's yeah. thing, um, which is fun and exciting once we get back to that side of the story, but. Um, 
I think, I think she's going to not only contest her here, but I think they could end up being like friends and stuff after this. Potentially. Like the way in which um, Akane saw Akana's perspective, not just back then at the moment, like right. more should, by kind of saying but she yeah, obviously, so, sorry, she obviously now. understands that now, but she kind of sees now. Right, like after the scene, she's like, oh my God, how did I not see that? Yeah. Right. But she's not wrong in that doing that made her some kind of, uh, you know, I, I don't know, bad inexperienced idiot, bad sure. actress or what have you that stumbled and did a did a thing that ruined the play or what no. have you that needed to be saved by no. Kana's, you know, nope. you know, it's, becoming more of a well, stage prop. It's the stuff. killing with kindness thing, right? Yeah. Like like Akane was doing fantastic and then Kana killed with kindness. And yeah. so it's the, well shit, I can't beat that. Right. right? Because that's not what I was going for. Right? Yeah. And maybe emotionally Akane, you do need to resolve the desire yes. to beat her. Yes. But even then, I don't even think she wants to beat her. And no, she wants, is, I mean, she wants she, to have she the does. gosh that sparkles so brilliantly that... Yeah, she wants to beat her, but first she needs to actually see her hero again. Right. Right? Yeah. There's no beating That's until that happens, it. you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, and which is, which is great because they're, they're having all of these intense character conflicts that feel so familiar in the anime space of yes. these... I can't destroy you until you're at your strongest. Right. So get stronger, train hard, you know. Right. It yeah. feels very fun in the meta narrative yeah, perspective yeah. because then this is also a anime of a play, yes. of a fake, you and know, the, manga yes. that we're watching as an anime. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that the whole uh, romance drama thing of them both liking the same person. And and and, and 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 Akane doesn't even really know too much about that. It's more just that like Akane's yeah. like, "Oh, you clearly have a chip on your shoulder with me. Right. Like, it's it's not even mm -hmm. subtle, no. Kana. Like, like, Kana, you also need to resolve your really obvious kind of uh, chip on your shoulder with inferring the uh, condescension from Akane's, like, acting being something that you think is trying to put you down, where mm -hmm. because of your whole relationship being built on a miscommunication thing that wasn't even sure. yours or hers. Yeah, yeah. Um, the act of her doing this, she believes, is so that you can then get called up back to where that hero, oh, yeah. heroine status that you had was that could just on command go, all right, here I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Look yeah. at me. Replay right. my scene over and over again. I'm and, flawless. I'm right. dazzling. And uh, let me know if this is not what you're like, if this is not related to the point that you're mm. trying to make. Mm. But Akane is totally being condescending, like categorically. Because she's I, I, saying I don't think that's the I don't think that's the point. That's 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 something that people are being that's something that people are being hyper fixating on, like a like a little bit. Like especially okay. Kana. I mean, so, sorry, Kana's hyper fixating on it. There's no other people really involved in this kind of thing sure. here. But, but like, what's what's her what's her what's her most condescending? Because she says, "I hate who you are now. I think you're lame, and I'm gonna try and make you better, or I want you to be better." Like uh, that's that's absolutely the. Well, the, the I currently do not value you. I think I am better than you because she thinks she's right, and that's totally fine. No, no, totally. You know, but, but there's like, a, there's a difference between there's a difference between. Um, uh, the because we're involving acting here, mm -hmm. there's a slight misdirect that needs to be acknowledged here in that you can have so much of a fixation on somebody because you actually cared about them once mm -hmm. to the point where your fixation becomes another form of obsession. Yeah, just a different flavor. Right, right, right. But the reason why you do that is not because primarily i would say because you need to destroy them or you need sure. to uh, uh no what that here no you you hate their work you hate their their actual performances and that's the difference here is that um akane doesn't hate kana akane hates kana's performance hates the hates the fake um you don't desire or you pretend like you don't desire to come onto the stage and just blindingly like 
shines so bright that everyone can't help but look at only you. Uh, right. She hates the person that Kana is deciding to be, but she believes that the that that that's disingenuous. Right. Yeah. Right. It's a, it's again the difference between hating a person and hating their. Um, persona they that do. they've adopted. Sure. Yeah, what they do, basically. Uh, and I think that that's a very important distinction, is that because mm -hmm. it's acting, it's also like hyper-emphasized the difference between who you're pretending to be versus who you actually well, are. But it is very presumptuous to say, I know who the person actually is, and I hate this fake version of themselves. No, no, totally, totally. Yeah. That's, that's, again, also the ego of, uh, I have developed acting to a point where I know based on empirical, you know, what have you, that I'm doing this, I'm doing this really well. Like I'm doing it mm -hmm. good enough that it's starting to actually have uh, rewards put to it. Like I was cast effectively as the star of the whole play. Right. Um, the only other star would be the protagonist in that, mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, they're diametrically opposed from the plot standpoint. Yeah. And he gets probably the most screen time by a right. the, lion's Akane share. Akane and the, the other dude definitely got the two most important roles. Right. Yeah. And then uh, Aqua and uh, Kana have kind of the next supporting most tied for next most important. Yeah. You could say With, that Kana's is a little bit more important because right, of because screen it's time again. Based on the actual protagonist. Yeah. Right, right. But the reason why Kana could never be cast as mm -hmm. Saya, mm -hmm. and in fact, I would say in a way where beyond just differences of actors and differences in actors presence and stuff. that they bring and all that right, stuff. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, she couldn't do these kinds of scenes as well. Like she just she just couldn't. But the part that Akane is not seeing is that she would never be cast as the secondary either. I I I, mm, I push I'd push back on that. I think if I think if Kana was actually put in the situation where she was in that and I think that's one of the things that Bikamachi is kind mm. of represents. Okay. When she's put in the position of, no, you are supposed to shine as bright as you can, mm. Kana will do that. Mm. But she won't demand that, right? She she doesn't mm. she doesn't try and make it into that. Okay, that's you a know? Read. Okay. Like like I think if like it would probably take something of either um an explicitly stated or kind of an implicit like she can read from the 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 type of character that it is maybe oh, yeah. the, she's, you're she's, supposed to do that. she's a professional you know? she's yeah. she's going to do the material no I, I get that but i'm saying she would not be casted there um they would find sure. somebody else who has those strengths in, well, in right. a lot of ways it's more the thing of like if you're a professional we could get anybody to play saya mm -hmm. but who we'd want to actually play right. saya would be not kana like kana wouldn't even be in the conversation well and that's where i think the uh the whole deal of it being the la 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 you know like company and all mm -hmm. that stuff is really important here because they're like yeah this is akane's natural element yeah. right this is not no i agree you know this is not the the reality show right where suddenly yeah. she's like wait hang on i don't i don't quite know how this goes mm -hmm. no this is this is this is her moment this is the thing that she's dedicated her life mm -hmm. to she will of course absolutely trounce kana in the you know being the character that is supposed to take the spotlight here yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's fun to have a perspective and philosophy brought about in a conflict that is very much misdirected from the actual characters through right. this production here. Yes. And have them both make so much sense in mm -hmm. their actual uh, desires here. But because we're focusing on Akane, have her have that like moment of backstage, like you're saying, being like, well, should I just come off like a, a show off here? Like that's 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 and not going to go well as far as like um I think that was more of a like uh she was regretting maybe the audience's perspective. Like basically mm -hmm. not the way that Kana's going to look at it, but the way that other people are going to look at it. Like And and I think a decent bit of that is Akane's own insecurities because hmm. let's be real, she gave a banger of a performance, right? And the audience will be fully enraptured by the the performance and the play and all of that stuff, hmm. right? Interesting. I don't I don't think the audience will necessarily think of her as being a show off. I think it's more of the thing of the people within the business will be able to realize that she is, you know, uh showboating. Yeah, fully reveling in the fact that she's got the spotlight, you know? 
Like, okay. And, okay. and that's maybe, that's maybe what she realized, but you know, again, it's, I don't think it's that Akane's approach to things is like fundamentally wrong. It's just, it had, it lacks critical information and now she has that like additional perspective, you know? Mm. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, let's take this play all the way. Have mm-hmm. multiple, multiple episodes to focus on this. I think they could do four episodes at this point. Oh yeah. Because again, oh, yeah. we still have to have Aqua have his crying, gut-wrenching scream moment exactly. for Saya's death, which that's end of the, you know, mm-hmm. the production stuff. But we're still talking about things that have to do with, with Kana. Kana. Yeah. And Akane with regards to their acting. Yep. So Right. I we can't might imagine not even get the full result of that. That might be the mm-hmm. cliffhanger of the next episode. Oh, sure. But it's probably not going to be overall within the next episode. So I, I imagine I am not. So so ready. Yes. To just rewatch this play when I've you know gone through all mm-hmm. of it here, and then just have it be this one chunk of episodes, and just be like, "This is anime, y'all. Look at right. look at this shit. This this is anime. This like, very much feels like sort of oh. a, um, also completely different, but kind of a the same kind of effect that you that we got from like the first episode, you know, oh, of the right, show, right. right? Where it's like, ah, here you have a contained story that yeah, tells you, movie, yeah. yeah, yeah, that tells you what it need, like what all, all the stuff that you need for that experience, mm-hmm. and it's a hell of an experience. Oh, hey, and then the story continues. Oh, yeah, you know, right? So isn't oh, yeah. that great? Keep watching. Yeah, the you know. way that the first episode of the play was structured was absolutely meant to set the scene for the whole play right. so that if somebody was just going to start there they wouldn't need anything prior to this mm-hmm. obviously it uh, you know greatly informs and you know yeah. benefits the whole right. thing there you know having the understanding of melt's performance and the rewriting of the scripts and character the, stuff from season 1 yeah, yeah yeah all of that all of that but damn damn and we're we still got right. more to go. <laughs> right, because we can we can almost guarantee, I would say, that there's going to be more than just the one episode left. Because can you imagine them being like, hey, in this crazy dramatic death scene where I'm grieving you and you're dying after that crazy performance you gave, we're going to be elevating Kana. I don't think that's, <laughs> like, you know, I, I don't think there's much room in there to do that. So, See, so this that's is a completely other thing. This is Aqua's way to manipulate something where he's trying to bail himself out of actually mm-hmm. giving the full genuine, you know, right. heart felt terrifying sure. performance here because he's like Shh, oh no well, no 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 there no, is, no 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 that it's whole, coming it's mm-hmm. coming you know but there is that whole question of who kills saya because like how does she die oh right you we know? don't know in the story right. how she ends up dead we know that she ends up dead uh yeah you know uh toki aka aqua's mm-hmm. character mourns her right and it's a you know a horrifying you know blood curdling scream yeah. scream that he needs to give we see it in the op but right. like how does that lead to the mm-hmm. you know uh or how does that come from all the stuff that leads right. to it so because there's that part yeah. of me that's like Ugh. what if it's Ugh. actually that you know kana's character is the one that kills saya right and so then it's like the you know then it becomes her acting because it's the oh my god i death and grief and uh, pain that I've inflicted. But at the same time, no, uh, Aqua Aqua will be going through actually grieving the death of his mother. Right, so, all over again. So that's not, that, that can't be where it happens. So you right? know what this play is? It's just a really good way for people to just process their pain and trauma. <laughs> You know, some people therapy. have. Yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> you know? the play. Therapy, yes. Right. Like There's it's all the, the meta narrative stuff and all the production, all the so other many, wonderful stuff. Right. But also, it's just therapy. For... So many anime wouldn't exist if the characters just had therapy. <laughs> well, right, right. But the idea that after this play, characters will have effectively had like a mini session of therapy. Oh, sure. Yes, yes. And it's. It's going all the way to melt. Like, like it's, it's right. like. Oh yeah, he was such a great like way to just be like, hey, play starting, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be the best like opening show music performance like for the concert as a whole. Right. You know, like but I now, will headline this so hard. But now we're here where we've got you know, uh, super fan needed to actually like process the pain of having the person that carried them all the way to this point where they would then actually get to act alongside mm-hmm. the person who yep, yep. they were 
uh-huh. they're actually not giving you still that person because of their own, you know, stuff that they're dealing with. So right. now you're trying to draw that out of them in a way that is actively, you know, uh, making them fight harder to then show mm-hmm. their own style of acting here. And now we've had the reversal of Akane feeling like, oh no, I was wrong. What what am I what am I doing here? And then we're gonna have potentially a reversal again, yeah. where it's the wait. <laughs> yeah. But Aqua's gonna be on her on we're her gonna, side now with this because we've got a scene where they're all three probably gonna be involved, and it's like it's all a Gurren Lagan like multi rocket staged punch. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's firing their thrusters and yep, adding yep. it to uh-huh. the final thing, and it's just it's just leading to an amazing play. Right, all to just hit. The mangaka and the audience in the heart. Right, right. The the Kokoros are already stirred. Now you need to just right. decimate they, they, them. They've, they've been softened up, and now it's like that, okay, right, right. you know. <laughs> yeah. Break those teeth, or yeah. grit those teeth, because this is coming. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's also just making me excited for the post-op. Just the, sure. the how do they then, having oh, yeah. gone through all the blood, sweat, and tears of this yeah. thing, then go, <laughs> oh, that was great. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, see you next week. We're gonna do it again. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Or, or even tomorrow. You know. Like, uh, right. Right. Potentially. Yeah. Right. But once they've done it once, it, it breaks the the ice, and it's the yeah. Let's do cool. that again. I yeah. really liked what we did here. Mm-hmm. Let's take this as the template. Yep. Run it through again. Can then you? Then Im- it becomes memorization and oh, yeah. and you know repetition and pattern matching. Right. Can you imagine the rap party? Right. For this play, like when it's like, all right, they do the whatever, however long the run is, you know, yeah. and they're just like. <sighs> Drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we're all like high schoolers, so we can't do that. Non-alcoholic drinks. drinks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> well done, well done. That was that was, that was perfect. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, but amazing, m- incredible episode, and yep. they just keep and, going. Oh yeah. Also, we like didn't even talk about this much, but you know the visuals were incredible. Again, you know, because of course, just of course, like the yeah. way that the stage play is used in a way that oh, makes yeah. it look real, just with the three D. Yep, and, and then like Akane, like with the sword draw, and like you know all that stuff, and just mm. the sets mm. and everything. It's like mm. holy shit, yeah. Mm. The, of course, this would get people into theater because this, yeah, the, you can't even really call this theater. This is something else entirely. No, this I'm is... going to use this thing to get people into anime. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to take clips and like this package sure. of episodes and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put people and be like <laughs> watch it. Well, <laughs> and and also to get like to get people that are into anime but aren't really in like are only into action anime to be like, oh yeah, but watch this. This is a this is a show about acting. It's like, <laughs> oh shit, this is awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. really awesome. Yeah. Oh man. Wow. Oh, I'm I'm nothing more to say other than yeah. I'm, I'm just excited for the next episode. But y'all, it's thank you so much for watching this episode's mm-hmm. reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, no, right now though, support us on our Patreon. Uh, check all the stuff in the doobly doo around us here, and uh, any level of support there gets you access to our Discord, where you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. Also, be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.